family. Hey girls, you guys ready? We need to talk. Let me mute this. It is 10.05 in the a.m. A video a day in May. Vlog number 16. Let me get comfortable. Excuse me if I'm giving you a little peekaboo and shit, but uh, we all grown and we got the same thing. Girls, look. Oh, I will. I, let me with my little pr prayer cloth while I'm bullshit. Anyway, um, girls, oh my God, I don't know where to begin. <sighs> let me take a deep breath, shit. Cause we got we got some shit to we got some shit to straight. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go, okay. First of all, I don't have no patchouli and shit like that there. No dragon's blood. Ran out of all that shit, okay? Need to go get my, um, some cones and get me some more incense, but I don't have any. But I do have my, uh, aromatherapy, um, uh, humidifier mister right here. And, uh, it got a little saddle, sandalwood in there. So I ain't mad at it, you know what I'm saying? So that, that, I'm, I'm still winning. Okay, so if you see a little mist coming this motherfucking way, just know that this motherfucker right here, that's glistening. Going from red to green, purple to blue, you know what I'm saying? That shit right there. Now, um, before we get started, you know, uh, I don't know if there's any fellas in the room or not. Bruh, are y'all in here with us this morning? Are you guys hanging out with us today? You're all welcome to stay. Okay, y'all welcome to stay if you want to, but really this is just for my girls and shit. So Clyde, if y'all want to let these motherfuckers in if they want to, you know what I'm saying? Because you know a nigga like to come and look at a nipple or ass or something, you know what I'm saying? So if they want to come on in, let them come on in shit, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? It's alright, I'm on some Millie Jackson shit anyway, that's how I get down, don't fuck with me, okay? Now let me roll this into this other shit here, since we on that right there, let me just go ahead on and be trill, okay? Now... Don't think that this is a plot plan or this is a setup. This is where my pole sits. It's still in the box. The motherfucker ain't even open. But it has always sat right here. So, it's not like, oh, well, she, um, girl, she wanted everybody to do see. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's going to be a no on that. Okay? Because if it was something that I wanted everybody to see, goddammit, I would have been in... T talked about this motherfucker a long time ago, which I had, excuse me, because that was something that, this shit is 2014, I've been at this motherfucker, still in the box, which let you know, I ain't met not now, motherfucker, that I wanted to really, uh, do it like that, I guess, foe, or I guess I just ain't met a motherfucker that can handle it, how about that, let's go with that, okay, because I know what y'all gonna say, what, 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 what about what you call it? We're getting ready to roll this into a whole bunch of shit. We got a whole bunch of shit to discuss on today. I don't even know where to start at. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker low-key embarrassed. But uh, I guess I ain't got no reason to because uh, it is what it is and it ain't, ain't, it ain't what it ain't. What the fuck's gonna happen? Grown folks don't get in trouble. I got three kids. Well, I got two of them now that get in trouble. The oldest one, I just quit talking to that motherfucker. That 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 beats the shit out of him. Like, I got him done all kind of shit to his ass. Whereas I don't talk to him no more. Oh my God. My son feel like, oh, mom, what's going on? Oh, mom, please don't. I just go on some silence, some mute shit. Nigga, you think I'd have knocked the shit out of that motherfucker? Knock teeth out. All kind of shit. Wisdom's twisted up. You think I really done something real cold-blooded to that motherfucker when I just say, nigga, I'm good. Oh, that's what you own? Is this what we're doing? Okay. So you decided that we're not getting ready to be cool no more, so I'm good. That fucks him up like you would not believe. Oh, my God. Because, nigga, uh, you going to need me, Uber, or Lyft by one thirty. You know what I'm saying? So don't fuck up with me, motherfucker. Because last I checked, them motherfuckers ain't the motherfuckers to charging you like 27-something. Uh, I think one of them is like 23 to motherfuckers, 23, 27 motherfucking dollars and shit. I don't, I don't ask the nigga for shit. And I get up out of my motherfucking bed like it's a thing to do. Ain't that a bitch? Now, yesterday, <clears throat> him and Kenny um, uh, did 
draw because uh, they did go and dump some of that shit off my motherfucker, off my goddamn property. Let me just go and say that part. Okay? Now, remember I told y'all on Saturday we was cutting them motherfucking trees and shit and all them prongs and shit from the palm trees up in the front, right? Well, my trash man don't run to Friday. Okay? But all this shit is not for to be around my motherfucking perimeter. Not for to be right here. Whereas motherfuckers looking all on the side of my goddamn gate like, damn, bitch, what's going on? Fire and gully. Nah, you ain't finna do me that. So, um, can y'all put all this shit in the back of black and take this down the street, um, over there to the, what you call it, uh, wherever y'all gonna go with? Yeah. Please. So, they went on and took the shit to the dump and, uh, got it up out of there. I said, well, shit. Anthony was like, uh, mom, do I have to drive? Uh, boy, I'm done with it. I'm done. I'm so dumb. I'm done with that. Okay. I'm done with it. You know, come to find out he's still on. I guess he feel like the truck is, you know, is, is too big. is outdated and all that. He still feel a butch way. Buy you a motherfucking car, nigga. It ain't no problem with me. Um, that motherfucker's back then right there. Still got the paperwork. Bitch paid for. Oh, it's no problem. If this bitch right here go to the left before I get this G-Wagon in my goddamn driveway, nigga, that mean I'm gonna still have to. So it don't matter to me. If you want it, fine. If you don't want it, leave that motherfucker right there. Mm. So until then, it's called Uber and Lyft. Now, me, is part-time. Now, I ain't gonna have my baby out there in the middle of the night and all that other kind of stuff. I watch too much First 48 and shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, no, I'm not going to, you know, just leave him out there. And I guess one thing he do know, too. Wait a minute. I'm having a light bulb motherfucking moment again. Ain't that something? That nigga know my mama ain't going to leave me out there. So, shit, I can, I can go ahead on and ride this right here out for as long as I can ride. But she ain't. She going to come and pick a nigga up anyway. Mm-hmm. Light bulb moment. Okay. Nigga gone right now. Come talking about he was going to breakfast and something else, something else. I guess some of his co-workers, friends, or whatever. I don't know what the get down was. But I know he just walked out of this motherfucker right now. It's 10, 12. Right now. He came in here a while ago. Come talking about with mama, um, um, me and some friends were all going to breakfast before we go to work. Oh, okay, no problem, nigga. Uh, go, go, uh, no problem. It's called 19. You know what I mean? With a full-time motherfucking job. Okay. But I am, um, you know, somebody do need to know where you're going in case some shit happened. Okay, this is where he said he was going, just like with me. Okay, now Saturday, I'm, you know, I'm gonna roll this in on, on the other shit I got going on. But on Saturday, when I picked him up after I cleaned up my room, y'all remember I, you know, what I'm saying, cleaned up my room and everything. You know, what I'm saying, Honey Dip gonna call me. Well, let me say chocolate. Yeah, uh, let me say uh. Sexual chocolate. Okay? Called me up and so, you know, so we've been moonlighting or whatever have you. Well, should I go and roll the shit in there now? Because Anthony shit is some bull. This nigga's 19. He, he whatever. Nigga, let's get into this real shit up. <clears throat> you see how I'm diverted? You see how shit just, I'm on some other shit that ain't got none of the nigga. This some need, need this some girl shit. Y'all don't give a fuck about this nigga in the lift. I mean, what was I doing? What was Excuse me, okay, my bad. I got on some mommy shit, like you know what I'm saying. This I jumped on some old mommy, you know, Barney motherfucking Doc McStuff and Channel type Nick Junior shit, nigga. That wasn't Family Hour, nigga. We on some old what happened to that nigga the other night type old shit, ain't we? Okay, so let's get on into this real shit here on what I really came up in this motherfucker to talk about. Because real shit, I'm having me a good motherfucking time. Okay, I'm doing like I want to do it. Like, and it don't make no motherfucking difference to me. I done paid the cost. You understand what I'm saying? So, then therefore, hey, real shit, if it was you, what would the fuck you be doing? Okay, because see, since some motherfuckers just have a tendency want to get mad. If it was you, what the fuck would you be doing? <clears throat> Real shit, just think about it for a minute. If, I, if it was me and I was okay, I was, you know, because let me tell you what happiness is. Last night, me and Kenny had this conversation that we was coming back from the dispensary last night. I had to go get me another little treat. 
You know what I'm saying? Now, motherfucker got me a few trees. I, I'm telling you, it's going to be children of the corn around this motherfucker in a few more minutes. I promise you. And my other ones that I got, okay, excuse me. I'm talking about a medication issue for those of you motherfuckers that done lost. And then, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Why is she talking about this nigga? She not want to Let me have this. This is what I'm on right now. Let me roll with it. This is how I do mine on mine. Okay, now you can go over there and go see what's happening on the basketball wives or see what kind of pie a motherfucker is cooking. But over here on this right here, this is how I do mine. Also, if you don't like it, it's all good, baby. You know what I'm saying? Come in and get a few bars and do it moving after that if that's your thing. You know what I mean? Because this is how I do mine. I'm all over the motherfucking place and I ain't got no script. I ain't got no paperwork right there to tell me, bitch, don't forget to say this. I ain't got none of that shit. This is what's happening. Okay, well... <clears throat> Anyway, where was I? Ain't that a bitch? Where the fuck was I? Damn. Ain't that something? It's gonna come back around. Don't worry about it. That's the way the fuck my mind works. But, I got so much shit on the hot on the motherfucking plate any motherfucking way. It don't matter which angle I go. But back on this motherfucking shit right here. Let's go back to that because that was the very, from the very beginning, wasn't it? Let's go back to all the way from the beginning. Okay, from the beginning was, I was telling y'all that this is not no plan ploy. This is not no, you know, let me throw this in the background and, you know what I'm saying, so some motherfuckers can have some questions about it. None of that shit. It's not open. <clears throat> I'm not going to move it because it's heavy. But it's not open, okay? Actually, it goes into this beam right here, okay? Right behind the camera, right here in my little sitting area, cause see, this is where my, this is where the performance gonna take place. I gotta pull curtain and all that old type of shit, nigga. I'm finna what, nigga? I'm a burlesque, nigga. I got the curtain and all that shit right there to do, the... nigga. Josephine Baker was one of the first motherfucking ones that done it. I done already looked it up. I gotta pull curtain and all that old type of shit right there. I got something for this nigga that come into my life. Y'all ain't gonna even understand. This nigga's gonna be fucked up. I'm gonna fuck this nigga up. I promise you. I'm I'm so ready. But see, the thing is, he gotta be a man or truly ordained for me. I don't want no motherfucker. I don't want nobody else's problem. I don't want no nigga with some hang up. I don't want no motherfucker asking me for no goddamn money. And we're gonna talk about that shit in a minute too. You know what I'm saying? But if a motherfucker's actually ordained for me, nigga, I'm fucking you up. I'm I'm just gonna tell you that shit. Uh, can I tell you that part right now? If it come out that you are motherfucking ordained for my motherfucking ass, I ain't got no problem with sharing what I own. I ain't got no problem with none of that old type of shit. You better look up Proverbs 31 and figure out what you're supposed to be doing, ladies, okay? Because I seem like to me, I'm on the right motherfucking path. Now, I might cuss a little bit. Now, I'm gonna have to be that, okay? I don't give a fuck what nobody have to say about it. I understand a lot of niggas don't really roll with that. But, hey, look, check this out. The ones that I meet, nigga, this is what it is. This part this part of the terms and conditions, nigga, is what it is. This is what you, What? You know what I'm saying? And I got this medication that I have to take frequently. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to need you to understand that this is just part of who I am. I'm just going to have to tell you this off the gate, okay? It's me plus three. I'm not going to ask you for no more than what the fuck I'm willing to give. But, nigga, uh, check this out. Don't ask me for no motherfucking money. Okay? That shit happened just recently. Now, this nigga I've been talking to, uh, when, of course, we get, nigga got to remain anonymous. Okay? Uh, I'm not going to even give so much of the scenario. You're going to be like, that motherfucker did what? Nah, I ain't going to give you no scenarios or none of that old type of shit. Okay? I'm just going to leave it all open. Whereas, you know, figure whatever. Because I know it's going to be one motherfucker in the background going to be like, well, wait a minute, hold on. That could be two or three motherfuckers. Okay, there, there's Kenny, there's Mr. Malibu, there's motherfucking what you call it, and there's what you call it, and there's Fathead too. Just quit looking my shit up like I'm Lizzie Lohan, some motherfucking body. Okay, like I'm out here on some old, just passing out on some old community pussy. That's what I ain't doing. Let's just be crystal clear on that. Okay, that's one motherfucker thing. For motherfuckers that don't understand or thinking that I'm out here doing the utmost, <clears throat> excuse me, that's going to be a negative. Okay, that's going to be a negative. Okay, am I having fun and finding my own motherfucking way? You goddamn right. Nigga, all that and then some. Nigga, I'm having fun. 
Hell yeah, my baby is 14 motherfucking years old and know how to make his own motherfucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Nigga got a cell phone, smartphone. Nigga go and got the code to everything, to the motherfucking alarm. Nigga ain't got a key. Nigga, if you don't sit down some motherfucking where, nigga, come in and sit down some goddamn where. All that other shit, mama, where you at? What time you gonna be? Nigga, you 14, motherfucker, can lift me up off the goddamn ground. Nigga, if you don't sit your ass down some motherfucking where and get started on some math or something. You know what I'm saying? Figure out what you're going to watch on TV. Make you a motherfucking sandwich, nigga, and, and uh, chill the fuck out. Excuse me. So, uh, yeah. So, all I'm going to say one more again. If it was you, what the fuck would you do? Now, this is what the fuck I was talking about because it's back then came around. <clears throat> Yesterday when me and Kenny had went to the dispensary and I was talking about my little trees and the, uh, the corn and all that old type of shit, right? Y'all, I got me some fire. Nigga, I got fire out there. You ain't even understanding, nigga. I'm gonna be so laid the fuck out of your up shit. How high the moon. That shit from the Wiz. Remember when they got the motherfucking line? That motherfucker was loaded thin. I don't know how the fuck he got high. Because the motherfucking hands was, his hands and shit was stuck. His eyes was the only thing moving. That motherfucker was fucked up then. I said, damn, nigga. I need that humidifier in my life right there. Okay? I don't know what the fuck he was fucked up on. You remember that shit? In the whiz. Y'all better get on and quit playing. Remember that motherfucker when they got that motherfucker? He said, how high the moon? Nigga, I've been loving that motherfucker ever since. I said, uh-oh, I like him. There's something about that old type of shit. Yeah, anyway. But, uh, so, you know, um, uh, I had to give me another one because in the, in the springtime, that's when you buy your clones. I ain't finna do the seeds and all that. I can't do all that. I can't, I can't do all that. But the clones, yeah. And then therefore, I just repot them. You know what I'm saying? I put them motherfuckers in some old, um, cause see, what I got was, uh, foxtail. It's foxtail, um, it's worm castings and shit, okay? So what I do is, um, I replant them in some worm castings and, you know, all this old type of shit and little foxtail. And then therefore, and that makes, Nigga, you harvest, okay? Harvest. And then plus I started giving them vitamins now, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving them food and shit, you know what I'm saying? Amp it up. You know, I, I have my own mulch. Uh, I, I make my own mulch here at the house, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm one of them um, evergreen motherfuckers. I go greens around this motherfucker. You know what I mean? I talk crazy, and I might be an old, you know, alley cat ass motherfucker, or whatever you want to call it, cat, whatever you want to call me, nigga, I'll be that motherfucker. Cat dog, my little sis, any of them motherfuckers, I'll be any one of them cats, no problem. But I tell you what, one thing about me, though, nigga, you better call me a motherfucking jaguar, because what you ain't gonna do, a cat can't be scratched by no motherfucking kitten while you're bullshitting, huh? Okay, it's getting down. I need to calm down. Wow. I'm on one today. I don't mean to, but I'm here by myself, okay? And I had all this shit on my motherfucking mind. I was like, you know what? Okay, I need to go ahead. I need to discuss some shit for real. You know, I don't, I, and it's not like y'all can really answer me back right away, but I just needed to just vent for a minute, okay? I needed to vent for a minute. So, on our way coming back, and me and Kenny were just talking on the phone. Oh, y'all. Met this motherfucking white boy named Josh at the dispensary yesterday. Motherfucker plugged me in. Do you understand me? That motherfucker plugged me in. Gave me all kind of free shit. Gave me a top of the line, top notch, hybrid motherfucking clone. Huh? Because I already told him that I had uh, the two other strains already, but I wanted me a, a, a souped up ass hybrid, right? And that's a mixture between the two and them motherfuckers. Them motherfuckers right there, when they yield, they yield that ooh wee. You know? So anyway. So he was like, I got you, no problem. Have you ever dated a white guy? I was like, no, you know, we're just talking. You know what I'm saying? Bomb ass dispensary. I only know how to get there when Kenny takes me there. Now, me going by myself, now I kind of paid attention yesterday on which streets and what freeway and how to get there and all that other type of shit. Yeah, because it's going to be about a 20, 30 minute. You ain't going to be able to catch the number 13 to get to this motherfucker. Let me just go and tell you that. You ain't going to be able to get on um, number 13 and transfer to the 7 to get to this motherfucker. I'm just telling you that right now. You're not going to be able to take the yellow cab to this motherfucker unless you don't call the bank and move some money around. I'm telling you that right there. Because that motherfucker got to be. I said, damn, nigga, is this 30 minutes away? Nigga, we done interchange all kind of freeway. Where the fuck is we going to? The first time I went, right? I was tripping. So yesterday... 
I was like, Kenny, I need to go, I need to go up there because I need to give me another tree and this and that and you know what I'm saying, plus, you know what I mean, I need to, where I go, y'all motherfuckers just keep selling the same shit and just, you know, this is called Sour Apple, this right here is called Honey Nut Berry. Nigga, y'all motherfuckers is changing the name of every two weeks saying that y'all got some new shit and this shit still tastes the same. If y'all don't knock it off, and I told them that shit the last motherfucking time, I had, nigga, I set it off like it was the improv of that motherfucker. I had to let them know, y'all motherfuckers is in here bullshit. Now, y'all gives me shit free, and I appreciate it. But y'all motherfuckers is in here bullshit when constantly rotate around the same motherfucking this right here. Yeah. Shit, they love me over there. I ain't got no problem where about go. Let me just go and tell you that right now because the energy be heavy. You understand? Okay. <clears throat> On the way coming back, you know, so me and Kenny, we was all talking here. And so we was like talking about what is happiness, you know. And I was telling them, I said, happiness is when you can wake up and you're not worried about where you're going to lay your head, who you owe, what's hurting, um, or what's prevalent. You know, as far as a timeline, some shit, a deadline you got to meet. And so, and I was like, you know, I'm, I feel so blessed right now, you know, to where I don't have any of those, any of those things, praise God, you know. And I was like, you know, I, so I was telling them that that's what happiness means to me. If, if you get to a point in, in your life to where as, you know, you could just be, you could just relax. You ain't got to worry about shit. Everything is handled and taken care of and shit. Nigga, it make you nervous, though, because it make you hide out from motherfuckers like, wait a minute, do this motherfucker see me? Are they going to try to come and take my shit from me? If I'm getting ready to get eligible for these motherfucking jumpsuits, I don't want to kill this motherfucker. You know, because I ain't going to go down just easily. I'm just going to go tell you that right now. And I don't want it on my soul that I don't lay the motherfucker out. So I just, I just prefer to just, you know, lay low, cut on the motherfucking uh, alarm, and get the fuck out the way. Because this first 48 shit is real. This motherfucker's out here really behind the eight ball and fucked up. You know, I'm going to roll listen to this other nigga, this nigga that I have been talking to. I met this nigga here. I ain't gonna give all no spe specifics and all that, no timeline and date and all the motherfuckers get to pulling out the calendar. Now, wait a minute, did she just say? Because I'm gonna have you run this motherfucking, um, touch me not motherfucker in there too. Put that bitch in the rotation too, because we're gonna talk about her ass in a few more minutes. But first, let's talk about this nigga here. I met this guy, man. And, I mean, it was like the energy was heavy, you know what I mean? Chocolates was all aligned and shit, and, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker was speaking my language, you know what I'm saying? We was on some namaste type old shit. I was like, we, we was like, really? you know, And we still are, just on the same accord. I mean, it's like, oh my God, I feel really feel like this is somebody that I have known a long time, or maybe in a, another lifetime. I mean, I really feel like this is somebody that I have known before. We just that shoot to kill. I mean, oh my God, it's just beautiful, okay? Oh, we send the best text. We've been hanging out almost every day. It's like, you know, um, but the thing is, I have not invited his ass to my house yet because, nigga, you're not going to get comfortable over here. I don't need your boots and shit over here in the corner and all this old time. You need some help getting the trash out on Friday. None of that shit, nigga, because I understand that right now it's a lot of people behind the A-ball, but... Now, let's roll this into this. How about, okay, now we've been conversing, we've been having fun, kicking and all this other kind of shit. Why this motherfucker asked me for some money yesterday? Fuck me up. Fuck me up. I ain't been cool ever since. That's why I know I had to come on here and vent this morning. Because I'm like, I'm so fucked up. I'm like, oh my God, this nigga just hit the brakes. Went down the chalkboard with one of these. Scratched the whole motherfucking 33 record to the all, all five motherfucking songs got deep scratch going through the motherfucker. Do you understand me? He fucked it up with me right then. Because I don't give a damn how much I may have. Me or any woman for that matter. I think it is of highly poor taste for any man to turn around and ask a woman, a single woman with children, for some motherfucking money. Let me be clear on that while I am sobering up like a motherfucker. That shit right there, you want to fuck up my high? Nigga asked me for some motherfucking money. And that motherfucker asked me for some money yesterday. And I'm like, oh my God, did this nigga just really ask me for some motherfucking money? Wait a minute, what the fuck just happened? For real? Y'all, I'm through.
I'm through. And it's like the, the energy been just, oh my God, this nigga just threw a wrench in this motherfucker. That nigga fucked up the feng shui like a motherfucker. I said, oh my God, did you wait a minute? Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. And then, you know, he texted to me, okay? Tell him all some shit about, well, you know, until next week and this and that. And now, I think that motherfucker said, until I get paid in the next couple of weeks or something. That nigga said a couple weeks. In other words, that nigga said, can you give me a gift? I'm cool. And I, but, but listen, girls, I was very respectful because I was like, okay, he is a man and I don't want to fuck up his pride. But I do need to let him know that now nah, I'm not one of them and I don't pay for no dick nor no motherfucking head. The shit was good, but I bless you with this vitamin water so nigga keep it pushing. But to turn around and ask me for some motherfucking money, nigga, I don't know what you got me chalked up with because I ain't none of them. Okay? I ain't got to pay for no motherfucking dick. That's one thing I don't have to do. Okay? Let me just be clear on that shit. Okay? But when you turned around and asked me for some motherfucking money, nigga, you done fucked up every chance you thought you had with me. Real shit. And he just feeling so fucked up. He's like, Tina, please don't ignore me. You know, because my emotions now are raw. I am so sorry. Yada, yada, yada. You know, I didn't mean. Whoop da, whoop da, whoop. <clears throat> I'm good. I don't know. I don't even know if that shit can be really prepared. Uh, excuse me, repaired. Because, first of all, a motherfucker asked me the other day if I had a motherfucking blunt. First of all, nigga, I don't smoke no motherfucking blunts, nigga. I ain't Key Lolo from the motherfucking hood. You ain't gonna never hear me talk about no motherfucking blunts, nigga. That ain't how I do mine, okay? Let me just go and tell you that part right now, okay? I ain't never rolled no motherfucking blunt. Not saying that I'm above that, okay? Let me just say that. Not to say, oh, okay, well, Blunt will put you in this right here. I ain't saying that either. You know what I'm saying? But it just seemed, I don't know, when a woman say, you can roll us a Blunt. Man, I don't know. I like, oh, wait a minute, that's just like a bitch with a Colt 45 in her motherfucking hand. Like, bitch, what is you doing? Oh, my God, nigga, if you don't take off that leather bomber jacket you got on, nigga, talking about you from, uh, such and such motorcycle club, bitch, you is a hard cold motherfucker to me. You know what I'm saying? That shit is like hard cold, you know? Or should, or should I say for some motherfuckers to understand, hardcore to me. You know what I'm saying? That's just a little rough around the edges. I'm kind of free, frilly and, you know, foo-foo and girly girl and all that old type of shit. That ain't what I do. I ain't got no motherfucking blood. I got a hookah that get me to wherever I need to go. Nigga, it's called Pluto... Um, over the cherry moon, all that old type of shit. I got some shit that's gonna get me motherfucking there on a classy tip too. The words, I ain't looking motherfucking crazy, and nor am I looking like I'm hiding down at the motherfucking next check cashing place. Okay, I ain't gonna look like one of them motherfuckers. I do my shit with class. Okay, very much so. Let's be clear. Okay. Uh, so anyway, 